Hi everyone, it's Danny. Okay, so one of my viewers has suggested that I make a video about root-bound orchids. So today I will discuss about what they are, uh, what it means, if it should affect our care in any way, and uh, if it affects the orchid. Alrighty. Now, as the name suggests, a root-bound orchid is one of those orchids who just has so, so many roots that they got bounded to the pot, to the media, and even to each other. Usually refers to an orchid which has so, so many roots in the pot that it will be a nightmare to get out of the pot and to repot. The orchids that get this far are usually specimen-sized orchids or uh, orchids with a lot of pseudobulbs in the case of Oncidium-type orchids or orchids which produce pseudobulbs. But in the case of Phalaenopsis orchid, it can be an old Phalaenopsis orchid or a orchid that hasn't been repotted in a lot of time, maybe over two years. So in the end, it's just a term to describe an orchid which has tons and tons and tons of roots which seem to not fit into the pot anymore. Now, if you're wondering if the orchid is sick or it means that you did something wrong, well, you can be assured that you did not do anything wrong. Quite the opposite. If the orchid produced so, so many roots, it means it is quite happy and quite healthy. The more roots an orchid has, the faster and better it can absorb moisture and nutrients. So in the end, it really is not a bad thing. It just means your orchid is quite happy and healthy but it can mean that you need to treat her just a little bit different from the other orchids. The main issue you will face with a root-bound orchid is hydration. Because this orchid has so, so, so many roots, they will absorb the moisture very, very fast. Also, because there are quite a lot of roots which swirled around the pot, most probably there is not enough media left in this pot. Every time you watered, maybe one or two bark chips fell away, and so in time, the media actually disappeared from the pot and roots took over their places. The orchid itself will not necessarily mind the crowded space, they do like to be snug in their pots. Also, they will feel secure because these roots adhered to the sides of the pot, so it's practically like in nature they would adhere to the bark of the tree, making the orchid safe. So watering a root-bound orchid will have to be done more frequent. It really depends on when the remaining media or the roots dry. I suggest that you don't let this orchid stay dry for too, too long. If in other cases the surface of the media and the sides might dry faster than the center, and you can actually wait a few more days before watering, in the case of a root-bound orchid, most probably the roots will absorb the moisture so, so fast that if you leave this orchid another two or three days without watering, since you saw the media is pretty much dry, you'll get some shriveling of the bulbs or some limpy leaves. So you do need to give it a very, very good soak, not only a rinse, so a very good soak, and actually water it when you see the media is almost completely dry. In the case of Oncidiums, and in the case of Phalaenopsis, when you see the roots are silvery, give it a very, very good soak. The second big problem you'll face with a root bound orchid will be when you want to repot it. Many of the roots most probably came out of the pot through the ventilation holes or through the drainage holes. So when you will remove it from the pot, you'll most probably break a few roots. Now there is two possible ways to deal with this. You can cut the pot and remove it from around the orchid and not damage any roots. But second, you can actually give up some of the roots that are going out of the pot. The orchid has quite a lot of roots, so one or two or possibly three cut roots will not affect it to that extent as to set it back. So that is one option if you want to save the orchid pot. And of course, you need to adjust the size of the pot if you intend to keep the orchid as it is and not divide it. In the case of a pseudobulb orchid, you definitely need to use a bigger pot. Now, the roots do seem to fit in this pot, but once you get it out and untangle everything, you will see you will not be able to place them back properly and you will also not be able to put any media inside it. So you have two options here. Either you separate the orchid if you have a lot, a lot of pseudobulbs and you want to have two of the same orchids or just share it with somebody or you have to go for a bigger pot possibly one size bigger 
this Phalaenopsis orchid will need to be repotted actually pretty soon because it's been quite a lot of years since it hasn't been repotted. So I will add a link to that video in the description of this video when I manage to film it. So if you're watching this video at a later date, check the description and possibly you will find the link of the repotting of this orchid in the description. Okay everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you have other suggestions for me, just leave me a comment. Also, if you have questions for me, you can leave me a comment and I will try to reply, but please make sure in your G Plus settings that people outside your circles can reply to you, otherwise I'm not able to reply. If you want to see more videos from me, just subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thank you for joining. Bye!